Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. One of the great rituals of teenagedom is going to the drive-in movie and seeing the double monster bill. And uh, there were a lot of these things made in the uh, 50s and 60s. Uh, we have a half of a particularly egregious double bill uh, of the killer shrews plus the giant Gila monster. Uh, we have the giant Gila monster trailer. Uh, it, the movie's pretty lame, but the trailer is crackerjack. Here it is. It all started like an ordinary record hop, as so many things in life do. This picture was made in Texas by a guy named Gordon McClendon, who owned some radio stations, and decided that he would back uh, the making of a drive-in double bill. So he made Killer Shrews and this picture. Uh, this was directed by Ray Kellogg, who was an old-fashioned effects guy. And I mean, by effects guy, I don't mean special effects. I mean, like, blowing things up. There are not a lot of things blow up in this movie, although at the end, the giant Gila monster does. It's a very cheap very crude movie. Here's our giant Gila monster who was just some hapless fellow that was <laughs> picked out of some field somewhere. No human mind could imagine the enormous destructive power of this maddened, killing thing. There's very little in the way of special effects. It's mostly the giant Gila monster sort of crawling really slowly around miniature sets and sometimes little miniature trains and little miniature cars. And uh, He doesn't really get to do much, but there's plenty of really creepy theremin music or fake theremin music. There's a little crippled girl. There's a guy who sings rock and roll songs like uh, My Baby She Rocks, which is uh, not one of the more memorable songs of the 50s. The acting is pretty pretty bad. The, uh, there's some nice miniatures. A lot of the actors are locals, and um, the acting level is, is not high. But the one thing about this great trailer is that it's got these these cards, an amazing Kong-like monster terrifying a population, devouring people as if they were flies. And I mean, what kid wouldn't want to go see a movie like that, no matter how crummy the rest of it looks? So, um, you know, I don't recommend the movie, but I do recommend the trailer.